this is Sand out here, back another Kaizuko Sentai Go Kaiju review. The last for a tiny bit. Um, here we have the Go Kai Spear. Um, the Go Kai Spear, by the way, is Go Kai Silver's uh, main weapon. Actually, his only weapon, I should say. It is pretty cool. It's got sounds. It's Go Kai Spear. You got a big picture of Go Kai Silver over there, plus the Dragon Ranger key that it comes with. Um, so you do get Tame with this. Um, which is really cool. Now, I must say this box is gigantic. Here is that 12-inch Shogun Battleizer. Um, they're about the same size. Um, by the way, I will review that someday. Anyway, let's take a look at the closer sides of the box. We're going to take a look at this side. Or not, because this is gigantic. Um, so you can see there you've got Gokai Silver Gold Mode with the Gokai Spear and Anchor Mode which seems to be the mode for the Gokai Silver, or for Gold mode. On this side, you've got Gokai Silver with the Gokai Spear in Shrident mode, which is really cool. And then on the back here, I guess will be a fun review to film. On the back here you've got basically what it does, the, the Ranger Key, Trident spear, uh, Gun in, in, in Anchor mode, and then all the stuff you can buy. And then a bunch of kanji. Cause that's cool, I guess. Um, but it's a really nice picture of uh, gold mode uh, Gokai Silver, which I think is really nice. On the top, you've got a picture of... They destroyed the set. Um, you got a picture of all the six rangers. Go say night. Shinken gold. Go on wings. Go on wings. Why didn't they name gold and silver? Okay, that's a little weird. Oh, they named the they named the teams. Okay, so oh, what's the name of the teams? All right, so we've got Go Say Knight, Shinkinger, Go on Wings, Go on Wings, Bokinger, Magic Ranger, Decker Ranger, Go Kaija. Oh, excuse me. <coughs> excuse me as well. Apple Ranger, Shurikinja, Gal Ranger, Time Ranger, Mega Ranger, O Ranger, uh, Die Ranger, G Ranger. Um, I named off all these guys in the Go Kai Silver review, also explaining why these peoples have their own names. But anyways, that is the gigantic box. Um, let's get out the spear using our good friend, the Go Kai Silver, which I've had for like an hour now. So we're going to start with the Ranger Key, it's the mo that's the main reason why I'd be O'Brien this, even though I think the spear is pretty cool. Um, you've got, you got uh, Dragon Ranger here, from the 6th Ranger from G-Ranger. As you can see, he's got his nice dragon helmet. They even managed to put the dragon shield on. Um, it's a little disconnected, I don't know why you have to raise your arms this much to get to it, but hey, you kind of have to, because the way they had to paint it. But you know, if you have them like that, it looks kind of cool. But I like how they... Um, they did that, um, despite, you know, all things. Uh, but yeah. So you can, of course, flip it into a key. So you can see you got the G Ranger logo there, which has all five prehistoric animals. Uh, the Dragon Caesar's not in there. And then you got, it is key number R085. So, you know. There's not going to be any more G-Rangers because I read, or a Re-Ranger. <laughs> God, I messed that up. Re-Ranger is a key R086. Anyway, of course, uh, like any good Ranger key, it works in ye old Mobirates. So, G-Ranger and Koryu Sentai. Ranger. Now, because um, I now have a new henshin item, we gotta use this. We don't have to use this in the Gokai Cellular, but I freaking want to, so we're gonna do it anyway. Um, that's just because I'm a nerd and this is fun. Even though you really don't need this to activate the sound. Oh well. Put in a henshin mode. But anyway. Here we go. Although this thing defies gravity, it still moves down, even though I'm holding it to the side. Anyway, that is all. 
as you can see, the Dragon Ranger key is coded for green in the Gokai Saber. So here we have the Gokai Spear itself in Trident mode to begin with. Um, as you can see, it's a little short. Uh, sorry about that. Um, in the show, this part extends out when it's in the Spear and Anchor mode, or the Trident and Anchor modes. Um, but yeah, they didn't quite do that here. I wish it would have done something like the, the metal shadow. <laughs> that would have been kind of cool just to give it some extra length, but they did not do that. They instead opted for it to be an epic battle fork. Now we can eat our meals in epicness. Anyway, um, yeah, I kind of took Zeron's first joke and ran with it. Sorry, Zeron. Um, it's just too good to pass up. But anyway... Uh, as you can see, it's got the Gokadra logo right here in silver, plus this really nice gold paint which runs all over the toy. Um, you got the Ranger key slot here, and you got some nice silver and gold down at the bottom. Uh, that's basically all detail-wise, kind of sparse, but turn it on here. No lights anywhere, um, just the start noise. And then this is button here. Oh, I'm sorry, Bandai of Japan. I'm not supposed to do that, according to this. That child is demonic. Anyways, um, yeah. That's about it. So, without further ado, um, let's go into to the final wave. Because that's what we do here. I'm going to use the Gokai Silver Key, because that's the only one that's actually used in the show in this thing. Um, so, you know. That's my imitation of throwing this thing. But yeah, that's the final wave noise. And there went the key. But anyways, um, to turn it into gun mode, shut up, you push this button here, and you pull this, and then these come together, and then you get to gun mode, which actually does sit like that, which is probably the display mode, because unless I mount these things on the wall, it's going to be like this, because it's the only one that stands. Um, as you can see, it is more of a rifle than a gun, because it's kind of got a long barrel to it. But, um, you know, it's pretty cool. Only complaint, my hand really does not fit in here. I can fit about two fingers. Um, I can fit one in the handle, one right here, and, and one down here. If I wanted to cramp myself, I can get them all in there, but that's cramping, and I really don't like that. Um, but yeah, really only one finger fits. Um, but, you know, it's understandable because I didn't want the other mode uh, to have a gigantic uh, space. But um, So that's pretty cool. I really wish it would have been closer to, uh, to lifestyle scale as the Gokai gun was. Um, but, you know, this thing's kind of big. And it has to transform, too, so there's some sacrifices that have to be made. But, anyways, for final wave... I can shoot that a few times. Or not. Oh well. Anyways, um, so let's go on. Let's go on! Um, let's move back to sphere mode and now we go to the, uh, anchor mode. Try to move to anchor mode. Um, you just need to flip these things around, um, which is simply just click, click them and twist them. And it locks you to place here. And here you have anchor mode, which. Again, it's kind of small. There is nothing different um, from this in spear mode, aside from the fact that uh, anchor mode or spear uh, trident mode. Sorry, trident mode. You press the button once and you make noise. For anchor mode, you hold it down. Um, yeah. If you really want the the, the trident mode sounds for anchor mode, you can do that as well. But you're supposed to hold down the button. So yeah, that's cool. Um, it does have some weight to it. I mean, it could just... Um, but yeah. I really kind of wish this thing 
extend it a little bit so it wouldn't feel so weird. Um, but that was, of course, Final Wave. But yeah, there you go. Um, that's how it works. You hold down the button. Let's get that. Which is strident mode. Then anchor mode. Electricity! But yeah, that's all there is to the Gokai Spear. Um, that's basically it. Um, I'm going to put it in gun mode because that's easier. To display. Okay. Overall, can I recommend it? Yes and no. I can only recommend this really to hardcore Gokaiju fans that either want all the keys or want all the weapons. To casual people, this thing is very cool. But because it's about 20 inches in length, it is very, very, very expensive to ship. Because you have to go EMS, and it gets really pricey. The shipping on this, plus the cellular, was that $65 for shipping. And the thing doesn't run too much on its own, but the shipping is killer. So, when you go to order this, make sure you know how much it's going to cost in shipping, because just know it's going to be pricey. But I can recommend this. It is a pretty fun weapon, and if you want to make up your own modes, it's got an axe mode. I don't know. I just thought of that. But yes, I can recommend this, but be prepared to pay high shipping costs. And if you want to get this just for the Ranger Key, I would say no, it's not really worth it. You can get uh, Tommy here in Gashapon Set 2 and in Candy Toy Set th uh, Candy Toy 3. Um, so Gashapon 2 or Candy Toy 3 are your two options to get him outside of the Spear. Um, but overall, I can recommend it if you like everything you see. If you like 2 out of 3 or 3 out of 3 over the modes, then you're good. But make sure you like most of this toy and not just the Ranger Key because paying as much as you will for this thing, it's not worth it for the Ranger Key. I see some people pay about $90 shipped from some places. Um, but yeah, this thing was even expensive even with the Ami Ami discount. So I can recommend it if you want uh, the, the, the weapon itself. Otherwise, you can pass it. Um, but yeah, that is all for now as I'm still waiting for Ranger Key Set 3 to show up. Um, you see we got the first six Ranger and the newest six Ranger together. Um, but anyway, yeah. So, stay tuned for Ranger Key Set 3 as it'll probably be my next review since it should show up before Ranger Key Sets 4 and 5 come out. I'm sure the next thing, yeah, those are the next things come out. So anyway, um, stay tuned as I might have a Gashapon review um, before those. We'll see. If I stay tuned for that, uh, it's nice to check out RiderTransRambles.com for token news and the crazy way possible. Discuss the Gokai Spear on the Rambors RiderTransRambles.com slash forums. It's Jackson Sensing. Goodbye.